my dear students i hope you all are doing great and studying by the help of the videos that are providing by your school so students as you all know your school is closed due to the cold wave so this is your winter vacation time and at this time your school your teacher are providing you the videos regional videos lectures so that you revise your chapters and you could perform better in your exams okay so you have to prepare for your prepare yourself for upcoming exams so here i'm here for you with the chapter number 2 the revisional lecture of the chapter number 2 okay so students in this video lecture we will revise chapter number 2 as you all know yesterday we had revised chapter number 1 in our previous video so today we are going to revise chapter number 2 okay that is our earth okay so students in our previous video it means yesterday's video we had revised chapter number 1 that was our solar system so students in in that video lecture we had learned about we had you can say we had revised about the solar system that i had already taught you in the physical classes okay so we had learned that there are eight planets in the solar system that revolve around the sun okay there are also moons comets asteroids meteoroids etc that revolve around the sun among the planets is that clear so earth is also a planet earth is also one of the planet one of them all planets okay so in this chapter we will we will read about only earth okay okay its features uh, how many continents are there on earth how many oceans are there on the earth okay so these all things about the earth we will read in this separate video lecture okay so as you all know uh, the chapter name itself our earth and earth is uh, also a planet one of a planet uh, in the solar system so let's begin our chapter so here as i told you earlier it is chapter number 2 our earth okay so as you all know earth is our home planet where we live okay so why it is called the home planet it is called home planet because we live on earth is that clear okay let me show you the picture of the earth so this picture is given in your book also you can see there okay this is the picture of the earth okay this is the picture of the earth and this is our home planet okay the blue planet the earth is also called the blue planet the earth the earth when we see from space looks like a blue marble this is because most of the earth surface is covered with water note the thin strip of blue around the earth that is the the atmosphere okay so students earth is called the blue planet so why it is called the blue planet because when we look at the earth from the space it is look like a blue marble okay why it is looks like a blue marble because the most of the part of the earth is covered with the water as you can see so much of the part of the earth is covered with the water only some part of the earth is land is that clear as you can see in this picture so there are plenty of water on the earth surface that is why it is looks like a blue marble from the space and we call it blue planet also is that clear okay <clears throat> okay let's uh, see some other facts about the earth so as you all know there are seven continents on the earth and there are seven oceans on the earth okay 
so what are the names of that seven continents okay so let's visualize it and learn their names so first one is asia africa europe okay i'll also write the number first asia africa europe north america south america australia and last antarctica okay antarctica okay so these are the seven continents on the surface of the earth okay these are the seven continents on the earth okay let's see the oceans okay so here you can see pacific ocean atlantic ocean indian ocean okay southern ocean and arctic ocean okay this is arctic ocean is that clear okay now the question is which uh, what is the largest continent on the surface of the earth what is the largest continent on the earth so the largest continent is asia yes this is the largest continent and what is the smallest continent so the smallest continent is australia okay this is the small, smallest continent as you can also see in the picture of the world map this is the picture of the world map and in this picture you can also see that um, asia is the looking very largest planet this is the largest planet you can see here asia is the largest planet and australia is the smallest planet okay is that clear okay let's move on to the ocean okay so what is the largest ocean so largest ocean is pacific ocean okay and the smallest ocean is arctic ocean okay this is the smallest ocean arctic ocean okay okay so i hope you understood let's move on to the next so students in ancient time as we all know the shape of the earth is geoid it is a geoid shape but in ancient time people uh, people were not well educated they were not aware about the shape of the earth okay so they think that they used to they, they used to think that the shape of the earth is square okay what they think they used to think that the shape of the earth is a square and they think uh, as you can see this picture they make a picture according to their thinking okay they make the picture of the earth like this and they and they do you know uh, and they do not prefer to uh, travel for so long they do not prefer to travel uh, for so away okay because they think that if will if, if they will go so away okay so at the at the at the point will come where the edge of the earth will come and they will fall away okay they will fall off from the edge of the earth as you can see in this picture this is the imaginary drawing of the drawing shift falling of the edge of the flat land okay they used to think that the land is flat the earth is flat okay this is a, a square shape this is not round this is not geoid shape but this is flat okay and if we they will walk walk if will they uh, continue walking so at the point they will fall off the edge of the earth is that clear okay now let's move on to the next so this is uh, this is the book of a map this is called the atlas okay as i show you this is the map okay this is the map so which kind of map is this this is the world map okay and the collection of all the maps the collection of maps in the same book is called the atlas okay as you can see this picture this is the atlas so atlas is the book of maps there are lots of maps in the same book that is called atlas i hope you understood let's move next one and this is globe what is this this is globe okay so globe uh, a globe allows us to see the earth the way it really is 
without any change in the shape of the continent and oceans okay so this is uh, you can say uh, this is a imaginary this is not imaginary but it is the real um, shape of the earth uh, our earth looks like a globe okay so we can study about the earth by the help of the globe okay as it is let's move on to the next this is the also a map and this is the map of the delhi okay this is the map of the city of delhi a map can show many small details unlike a globe okay so on a globe you can't see all the small details of the particular place but in the map you can see all the small details also about a particular place a city a town or anything you can see on the map is that clear okay let's move on to the next <coughs> and here you can see how to how to learn the how to how do we learn the uh, you can say directions okay so in this picture you can see so where the earth uh, where the sun rises this is the east direction okay this is the east where the sun rises and if you stand uh, so if you stand showing your face in front of the sun so so your uh, behind you will be the west direction and your left hand side will be the north direction and your right hand side will be the south direction is that clear in ancient time how do sailors find direction at sea when the sailors are uh, are traveling in the sea so they find direction they used they used to use compass okay they do not see uh, they do not sew with the help of the compass the needle of the compass always points to the north okay so the needle of the compass always point to the north if they want to find out the direction they use the compass okay and who firstly used the compass so the chinese were probably the first invented the compass okay so it is believed that chinese were firstly invented the compass okay so this is also a fact you should learn it okay you should learn this fact the chinese were invented probably they invented first the compass okay so students let's move on to the exercises of this chapter these are some important exercises okay so first one is choose the correct answer okay so here you have to choose the correct answer firstly you have to read the sentence and then you have to choose the correct answer so here the first one is the smallest the smallest continent is so as i told you earlier the smallest continent is australia okay so australia is the smallest continent next one is the smallest ocean is the so the smallest ocean is arctic ocean okay the smallest ocean is the arctic ocean that is in the north side okay in the in the world map you can see and the third one is in ancient times the shape of the earth was believed to be a so as i told you earlier in ancient time the shape of the earth was believed to be a square okay so the people believe that the shape of the earth is square square okay next one and the next one is a book of maps is called so the book book of maps is called an atlas okay it is called an atlas okay let's move on to the next and the next one is mark the following sentences as true or false okay here the first one is the earth is the only living planet in the solar system okay so as i told you earlier uh, we can survive on the earth but not on the other planet so this is the true fact that earth is the only living planet in the solar system okay so this is true next one is the earth is perfectly round in shape so no this is not perfectly round in shape this is a geoid shape 
so this is false i hope you know the spelling of true and false because don't write t or f okay write the full spelling of true or false okay next one is people always knew that the shape of the earth is round no people are not already know that the shape of the earth is round because they are not so aware about it they were not so well educated they have no idea about it so they think that said so they used to think that the shape of the earth is square it is flat okay so this is false okay f a l s e false okay next one is asia is the largest continent so yes Asia is the largest continent this is a true statement and the next one is the earth has four oceans right uh, no it is it is false because earth has five oceans as i told you earlier okay and their names are pacific ocean atlantic ocean indian ocean southern ocean and arctic ocean so this is a false okay so let's move on to the next one and the next exercise is give one word for the following okay so what you have to do here a sentence is given given you have to read this sentence and uh, and in front of sentence there is a blank so you have to write a one word answer okay so you can say here you have to write the one word answer for the following sentences is that clear so first one is a large land mass on the surface of the earth so it is called continent it is called continent next one is the largest ocean so the largest ocean is pacific ocean okay pacific ocean is the largest ocean next one is the layer of the air that surrounds the earth so the layer of air that surrounds the earth is called atmosphere because uh, without the atmosphere we can we can't live we can't we can't breathe at all is that clear next one is a representation of the earth and its features on a flat surface so it is called map so map is the representation of the earth on the and its features on the flat surface you can see where is the continent where is a, where is a city where is a state where is a country where is the any ocean sea etc okay so this is called the map okay so let's come to the exercise number 4 of this chapter so exercise number 4 of this chapter is answer the following questions in one or two sentences okay so here you have to write the answer between one or two sentences okay question number 1 is what is the shape of the earth what is the shape of the earth so i hope you all know the shape of the earth is round okay the shape of the earth is round second one is why is the earth called the blue planet so as i told you earlier earth called the blue planet because the most of the earth surface is covered with the plenty of water okay so because the most of the earth surface is covered with water okay that is why earth is called the blue planet okay because it looks like a blue marble from the space okay let's move on to the third one and the question number 3 is how many continents are there name them okay so you all know there are seven continents on the earth and their names are asia antarctica africa europe north america south america and australia is that clear so move on to the next question and the question number 4 is what is the difference between an ocean and a sea so there is a you can say there is a world of difference between a ocean and a sea so answer will be a large and deep water body on the surface of the earth is called ocean while a water body is big 
but not as big as ocean is called the sea so sea is also a water body that is big but it is not as big as ocean so that is why it is called the sea okay let's move on to the next question and the next one is what is the atmosphere what is the atmosphere why is it important so atmosphere is the layer of air surrounding the earth it help us to breathe okay so the atmosphere is very important you can't it is not visible to you you can't see it but it is a layer of layer surrounding the earth and it help us to breathe okay so that is why it is very important for us to live okay to be alive it is very important for us is that clear let's move on to the next question it's a next exercise exercise 5th so it is also an important question for you answer the following questions in a paragraph so here you have to write the answers in a paragraph in a short paragraph you can write the answers so question number 1 is what are the things that make life possible on the earth so what are the things that are here on the earth but not at any other planets that is why our earth that is why our life is possible on the earth so you have to write about it is that clear <clears throat> so answer is some of the things that make life possible on earth are water found on the surface of the earth and the second is the air of uh, the air of uh, the layer of air that surrounds the earth and the heat and light that we get from the sun so these are the combination of things that make life possible on the earth earth okay so that is why we can survive on the earth but not at any other planets okay is that clear to you students so i hope you understood so keep in mind all the things that i had taught you today because this will help you a lot in your upcoming examination so so students keep revising it and if you didn't write the question answer of this chapter so write it in your copy and if you didn't fill your book till now so please fill it okay and learn this all question answers okay and keep revising this question answer keep revising these exercises okay and if if you have holidays if you have vacation so don't waste this time keep focus on your study and only play at the time of playing okay don't waste your time okay so see you in the next video lesson till then bye bye take care of yourself and keep studying